Welcome back to another OTD unboxing video. Today I have for you the 2024 Hot Wheels Pop Culture Mix C. So this is designated by the HXD 63 case code on the side. And the C designation is the third mix for 2024. This is probably one of the more popular mixes of pop culture, formerly entertainment. And in it, containing two skylines. But uh, let me pop it open and see just how evenly these should all be two per case. So yes, this is a very, uh, very great mix. And at least in my opinion here, because while well, one, you get two of the R34 Skylines. And before I start unboxing, I just wanted to give a huge uh, shout out to One Stop Diecast for sending this case over. Thank you to One Stop Diecast for supporting the OTD YouTube channel and OwnerStrikeDieCast.com. We appreciate your support. All right, so this is the Nissan Skyline R34, always a hit with collectors. This one comes to you in a Gran Turismo 7 Deco. We have seen this deco before. It actually was in a themed assortment before. This one is the full premium with the headlights, taillights, metal base. Um, so this would be nice to get together with that one, that previous release. So, and as always, two in a case. So that works, that's a great uh, start to this case here. All right, next car out of case. I talked about the, the uh, two Skylines in this mix. Here is the other one, another Gran Turismo Skyline. It is actually the Nissan GTR Nismo GT3. So this is a brand new casting for 2024. My first look at it in person. So we got the Nismo banner on the, the windshield there. And this is from the, the actual, from the movie. So this is from the uh, movie that was, was released, what was it just last year? Or at the beginning of this year? Uh, pretty good movie actually. I was actually pleasantly surprised with that movie. But this is the the car that they race in the movie. Very nice. Very nice casting. So to get this together with some of the other um, uh, GTR castings of this era. And also some GT3 castings. And uh, see how this compares to those. This first impression right off the bat. Look at that, that spoiler. Nice thin spoiler there. Always nice to see that when it's uh, a metal spoiler. Two of those in this case. All right, here is one of the most long-awaited, at least in my personal opinion, uh, long overdue castings, at least in terms of movie castings. It's the Mutt Cuts from Dumb and Dumber, Mutt Cuts Van. So, obviously a... Uh, I wouldn't say I'm a big fan of the movie, but uh, just a long overdue iconic car from a very, very popular movie. Now we just have to get the, uh, the what was it, the, the Lamborghini Diablo, right, from the movie? I'm not going to begin quoting this movie, but this casting is definitely long overdue. Too bad the, uh, the leg doesn't lift up. That would have been a nice touch. I even got the freckles in the front, little tongue. <laughs> Not sure how you can really redo this one, but uh, it is regardless, it's a great casting to see. Yes, even if it's a one-off uh, release of this one, so glad that Hot Wheels did the Mutt Cuts van. Iconic car, nonetheless. And then from one iconic car to the next, we got the Dairy Delivery. So. No shortage of dairy deliveries out there. This one has been released multiple, multiple times. And this one, where is the iconic Moon Man deco from MTV? Two of these in the case here. Let's see at the top here. Oh, we got some, uh, oh, some helmets. I thought it was creators at first. Some uh, Moon Man helmets. MTV logo. Very cool. For those that remember MTV with the, uh, that logo, very nostalgic. And lastly, probably a, uh, probably, oh, get out of there. Oh, I was jammed in there. Okay, probably a license I never thought I would see in the Hot Wheels realm, Beavis and Butthead. Does this Beavis and Butthead do America? 
No, just Beavis and Butthead. So, must have had the uh, MTV licensing, decided to do a Beavis and Butthead one. At least, at first when I saw the, the Pack and Pacer, there was a rumor out there that this was going to be Bill and Ted's Pacer. Oh, I'm sorry, Wayne's World. I'm sorry, Wayne's World. I was thinking Wayne's World. Um, and to our surprise, we got the Beavis and Butthead decked out Pacer. And the Pack and Pacer is actually a nostalgic car from the, uh, casting from the, the 70s, 80s. So it's good to see that one come back. But uh, just the Beavis and Butthead deco is very, very questionable. But hey, for, the, for those fans, great. Glad you got this one. Just a very interesting release. But yeah, obviously great, great case. Thank you to One Stop Diecast for sending this one over. Just awesome case. You can still pick these up on onestopdiecast.com, so make sure you check that out. And I actually have the D case ready to go as well, so we will check that out very, very soon. Thank you for watching.